Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on grief prevention. So this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to prevent griefs from happening. So it's easy to set up for each player. They just pop down the chest and they will have an area which is protected. So you can download this plugin for free off the of spigot and let's get right into it. So pop down the chest and we have a claim of land here. So um, what we can do is uh, using a golden spade and a stick. So the stick will give you information about um, the claimed area. So as you can see, the blocks actually disappear. These can't be destroyed. They are not actually there. Other players cannot see them. Um, but this just shows you where your claim is. So if you go outside here, you are not protected. Using a golden spade, you can right click um, the corner blocks and actually increase it, um, depending on how many block you have. So each person has a different allowance. When you first join you'll be started with I don't know, 100, 200. The more time you spend on the server the uh, more blocks you will be allowed to claim. And you can also get it via a couple of commands and via maybe a rank or um, voting for the server. It depends how the server set up. So um, the commands are a bit complicated for that. There is a just bonus claim blocks very very long and then obviously the player's name and how many so we have um, adjusted it by a thousand blocks and there is also set accrued claim blocks if I can actually type which I'm uh, failing at right now and then obviously the name and the amount of blocks and now we will have even more so we have up to 2744 claim blocks remaining so um, if you uh, fail at creating a new one, it will say uh, the claim's too small or it's already been claimed. You can abandon the claim if you do don't want it anymore. Abandon claim like that, and now you will have more blocks to claim with. So it's a very cool plugin that you can do this. Um, we are going to go um, over some of the commands that you can use once you've actually got a claim. So um, first of all, let's do the four slash claim explosion command and you can toggle off whether you want your area to be vulnerable to explosions. If you do forward slash trust you can give players permission to build. If you do forward slash container trust this will give them access to obviously chests and animals. Access trust is um, buttons and levers and permission trust allows them to give permission to other people so I'd watch out for that last one and you can obviously untrust players if they start abusing their power which is pretty cool. So there are two types of um, claims. So there is the basic claim, which is the one we were using at the moment. Um, basic claims with an S. And there is the subdivide claims. And this one is pretty cool. It, uh, it subdivides it equally. So if we claim it here, you can see there are two different um, divisions. And if we do it even bigger, we just get into this one and right click this corner we can actually make it a lot a lot bigger there'll be like five different subdivisions so there's one two three four five six so a lot let's go ahead and abandon this claim and go back to our basic claims wand so um yeah that's how you um change the the size of your claim if you do for slash claim list it will tell you where your claims are located, how many blocks you have left to spend, um, which is really, really cool. We can also um, do various features using the chat and mute uh, commands. So uh, if you're an admin and someone's being naughty in chat, you can do a soft mute on them. If two players are arguing, you can separate them from speaking to each other, which is so cool. You might want to unseparate them after. Uh, so this is a cool feature I've never seen before. Uh, which will stop those two players from seeing each other's messages. It's just fantastic. Then we have the spam feature. So if someone's spamming in chat, sending messages too quickly, or the same message, uh, such as advertising their um, server IP or something, it will automatically mute them um, and stop players from seeing um, the other messages that they keep sending, which is called without them saying it. So um, there's another command, forward slash trapped. This is cool. Um, you can get out of a claimed area if you are stuck. And there is a fantastic command that stops, um, well, allows you to 
restore nature. That is the command. So restore nature. So what this will do is um, obviously can't do it here because this is a flat world. But um, if you right click around, it will go back to normal. Um, so if someone's destroyed it and there's a tree that's half built or uh, a hole in the ground, water, flooding everywhere, you can do restore nature and it will go back to the way it was generated, which is very, very cool. There is also restore nature fit aggressive and uh, fill as well. So um, got to be careful with these. Make sure you um, right click things you want to uh, go back to normal. Make sure you don't destroy anyone's houses with this. But yeah, those are the main commands. I think that is most of it. It's a very cool plugin. Uh, so we are going to go into the config file now and see how you can change things in there. So here we are in the grip prevention folder. And as you can see, there is quite a lot in here. So we have the player data and claims data. You don't really need to edit that. Uh, if we go into the logs, this is very, very cool. You can see the date of messages and who sent them. So that's cool. Uh, it'd be probably better to edit that with Notepad++ so you can see it um, much easier. If we go back and look at the banned words text document, this did have quite a few awful words in, so um, just add the worst words you can see or think of um, to stop players from saying them. We have the messages folder, which um, you don't really need to edit. This just tells player various messages um, and stuff like that. And finally, the config file. So this is where most of the magic happens. So um, here we have the two tools. I would recommend setting the modification tool to something different, such as a wooden spade, um, as it's much easier to get. And obviously the investigation tool is the stick. Um, then we have the minimum width, minimum area, and maximum depth as well. So you can edit your claims. You can set the claim blocks accrued per hour. So every hour of playtime you'll get 100 more. This is so cool. Um, and you can also have more. So if you have the correct permission you can get 110 per hour or 125. And this is how many blocks you start with. So 100, not really too many. So this will mean players will want to play more so they get more land to be protected. You can also lock trap doors, fence gates, wooden doors, which is cool. Prevent theft, true, we want that. And um, which worlds they are available in. So it's obviously disabled in world the end. And um, if we scroll down a bit, we can see the spam. So um, this is really, really cool. We would obviously want to enable that. And um, whisper slash commands, uh, which, will, which admins will see. Ban offenders, true, we obviously want that. Although um, there shouldn't be two uh, false alarms, but there could be. An economy, whether you want players to have to pay for claim blocks, that would be quite interesting. And PvP, so this is a very cool um, feature. Obviously you don't want players to uh, just combat log, so you can stop that. Allow combat items to drop, false, and you can block various commands as well. So if we scroll down even more, you can see that uh, silvermen, silverfish and endermen don't break or move blocks, which is cool. Um, we are going to scroll, scroll back up a bit, and you can see that chess claims can expire in X amount of days, um, or all claims if they are inactive for 60 days. So this is cool, um, allows players to reclaim an area if a player stops playing on your server. And yeah. So that is the majority of the plugin. It's really cool, very customizable. You can change all of these values to suit your server and your players' needs. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.